Okay, good day everyone. It's Total Investor here, everyone's favorite YouTube investment channel. Today, I want to re review uh, a sector that I've not looked at in a while, and I think that uh, it's good that I do review it, simply because the way I see the chart patterns is that there could be some very good opportunity very soon. Okay, now please keep in mind, disclaimer, everything I say uh, is for educational purposes only. It should not be viewed as financial advice. I am not your financial advisor. Uh, secondly, I currently do not own any position in any of these stocks or any options. Okay, that may change in the near future, but as of right now, no positions. Okay, uh, let's start off with the very first uh, stock uh, in the cannabis or marijuana sector and it's basically a an ETF for the sector as a whole and the reason why I want to review this first is that it just gives you uh, an idea as to how all the stocks are doing okay uh, in general so it's sort of like an average of what I see so this is the MJ which is the alternative harvest ETF okay uh, this is going back to mid-2020, so we've got just over a year of data. Uh, it bottomed out at around $10 a share, spiked up to 34 and a half, and that was over a period of, what's that, about six months, half a year, give or take. So there's more than a triple in a short period of time, and then it pulled back. Now I've got on this graph, uh, it's the Fibonacci retracements, okay? Uh, if you go from, from the bottom here at around $10 a share to the top and pull back, we notice that the stock pulled back not just one third, a half, or but all the way down to, well, actually just slightly even lower than the 61.8 retracement. So it is fully retraced using the Fibonacci retracements, okay? That's usually where it maxes out on the pullback. Since then, it has sort of uh, consolidated, uh, and I feel that there's an opportunity here uh, because there's some good support in this level. That you know, I that uh, there could be like very little downside, so a little risk on the downside, and some good opportunity on the upside. Okay, we have to look at not just the moving averages, which. As it stands at the moment, it is slightly bullish because it's above both the 10-day and the 50-day. And the RSI is pretty much near that trigger line. Down here, the DI's on the trigger line. So this is, it, it basically warrants watching. Okay, so the this particular stock, the MJ, right now is on a watch list. Okay, so watch for now for an opportunity to buy. Uh, and this is the shorter term uh, time frame. Uh, it's going back uh, about six months. Again, you can see the consolidation here. It's tightening up. And I think that there's uh, an opportunity here uh, for those who want to go along. Again, not quite a buy just yet, but on the watch list. First stock that I want to look at is Canopy Growth, CGC. Okay, uh, this thing topped out at just above in the, the upper 50s, starting from a move at 25. So it's more than doubled in, what's that, uh, two months. Pulled back, pulled back significantly, more than half of its value. And it looks like we may have found or seem to be a double bottom. It didn't quite make down to that uh, the same level. Maybe that's a good thing. Uh, looking at the RSI, that didn't make a double bottom. So we are slowly moving upwards on the RSI. That's a big plus. It triggered the buy at above 50. Not by much, but we'll take it. And we have the moving averages. Uh, the It's above the 10-day moving average. And the 50-day in blue, it's just slightly above the stock. So again, uh, we're looking at something that should be on our watch list to see if it really is a bottom. And that's just, it's, 
you know, we're waiting for the stock to actually prove itself. Okay. So two stocks that are on the watch list here in this uh, sector. Up next is Kronos. Okay. This stock has gone from just almost 16 all the way down to seven. That was in a very short period of time. So one, two, three, four months. From there, uh, it has gone from seven to nine and change, and it has consolidated for about a month. Okay, now we're waiting for that breakout here to give us a better signal that it is in a bull market. Uh, I think that the chances are good that it will break out to the upside. Just by looking here, we have the RSI that did break out above the 50 day here, the same day we had this move, and also the DIs crossed into bullish territory, okay? Same day. So if you're using one and two as your buy signal, you got in. Uh, you haven't made any money yet, but you haven't lost any either. But again, as I said, this is still in positive territory, the RSI, and even down here, the DIs are in positive territory. It's above the 50-day moving average and even the 10-day. So everything's looking good, but again, the final confirmation should happen once we get a breakout. Okay, so this is better than the previous two uh, stocks that uh, I just reviewed. Next, Cure Relief. This I'm going back three years. Uh, that's when it that's when it IPO'd here. Looking at the bottom, bottomed out at just under four dollars and ran all the way up to 23 and change. Nice move. Uh, again, that was over a period of about well, just under a year. Okay, pretty good return. Now, what do we see now? After this top uh, that it made back in, I believe that's March of this, uh, this year, pulled back, and what do we find? Where did it pull back? Right down to the, to the upper 15s, okay? This, it pulled back, or it found support where it had previous resistance. So resistance becomes support and support can become resistance. That happens very frequently. If you look at for the, those uh, kind of chart patterns, you will find them, okay? Interesting, if we also look at the uh, Fibonacci retracement, this pulled back about, I believe it was like 30%. I don't recall what it was. I have it on another chart that, I'm, that I didn't include that. But that just means that with that pullback, I know it didn't pull back the full 62%, but this is actually a positive because it shows you that this stock is one of the stronger ones. It's got strength. And when you're deciding which stock to buy in a particular sector, always go for the strongest ones, not the weakest. People think the other way around. They, you know, they want to buy the weakest one because they're cheaper. They pull back more. Well, usually there's a good reason why they pull back more. Always go for strength, okay? So this is one of the stronger ones. Plus, it also, you know, we have a downtrend line, and look what happened just recently. It broke through that trend line. That's a positive. It's just slightly above this support level. That's a positive too, because if you're buying it here and you place a stop down here, it's not a big loss. But the opportunity to be, when you're right, is big. You're putting the risk reward ratio in your favor. Okay. The RSI above 50. And here, this is going to take a little bit of time to get into the positive zone, just simply because of, you know, the indicator itself. This is some more of a longer term chart. And I think that once this thing starts to move, it will uh, give us that buy signal. But this is the stronger uh, out of all the ones that I've discussed so far. Cure Leaf, Cura, C-U-R-A. Okay, Green Thumb Industries, GTII.CN. This is on the Canadian uh, exchange. Uh, this is also going back to the middle of 18. So we got three years worth of data. This bottomed out back in what I believe it's uh, March of 2020 uh, when the entire market pulled back and bottomed uh, at around $5, moved all the way up to 50. So there's a 10 bagger 
on this stock. Incredible. Uh, and this just over about, well, about a year. Not a bad return. This is pulled back to guess what? On previous resistance. Okay, so this is about $33, I think. Uh, so, so resistance becomes support. Support becomes resistance. Okay, I told you that even on the previous stock, it happened again here. This too pulled back. If you're using the Fibonacci retracement, it too pulled back. Um, not big, but again, it shows you that this is one of the stronger stocks in the industry. That's what you want to be looking at. Okay, uh, Green Thumb, if we look at the RSI, it's been pretty much above that 50 uh, trigger level and it broke, it's still there, it broke through the downtrend line on the RSI. That's, us that's usually a, a warning that it's going to move higher. What happened with the stock? It, it too broke the downtrend line. Okay, that's a positive and it stayed above uh, this moving average and it's now above the green line, also another moving average. And what happened this week? The DI has crossed over into bullish territory. So this, as it stands and as I see it, my interpretation of these charts, this too would be considered as a buy, technically speaking. Okay. Next, True Leave Cannabis, TRUL, also on the Canadian exchange. Uh, this started off again back in March 2020 near the depth of, uh, near the uh, correction of the stock uh, market as a whole from I believe that's eight dollars all the way up to 67 another nice move it too pulled back using the Fibonacci retracement at around 38 actually just a little bit more than 38 uh, pullback a nice correction we might you know I found some support here it doesn't look like it wants to go lower the RSI just cracked 50 this week. The DI is not quite there just yet. It might take another week to do that. Actually, you could do that any time. And I think that uh, this is another good buying opportunity where it found some support. If I were to get in here, I take you know a small loss, 10, 15%. If I was wrong, but I think that uh, you know the opportunity to make uh, where I think it could be going is far greater than that small loss that I would take. Uh, so this is another good, strong uh, stock, technically speaking, and it's one of the better ones in this industry. Uh, here it is on a shorter term basis. This is a six month chart going back to the end of the year. Uh, again, pulled back, found some support and, you know, we've got the RSI again, breaking above 50. Here on the shorter term chart, we did have the, uh, the DIs crossing into bullish territory and above the 50 day moving average and above the 10 day. So that's looking good too. So uh, again, there was a, a couple of stocks that are on a watch list and the last few that looks like they are good buys at the moment, uh, you know, as it is right now. Uh, so again, as I said, these are not recommendations. Obviously, I'm not your financial advisor. I don't know your financial situation, uh, but it is something that you should be, uh, if you are looking at the sector, do some more homework. And if they are for, for you, that's uh, you know, a decision that you have to make. Uh, if you have any questions on this particular industry, on these stocks or on any stocks, please comment down below. I'd love to hear your comments. I don't get too many but I do read uh, the ones that I do get. Uh, I may comment back, or if you're specifically asking for a comment on another stock or crypto or commodities, I may make a video specifically for you as I have done in the past. Uh, please give this a thumbs up and to get notified from YouTube of any new videos that I make, go down to just below the video, it's a big, red button that says subscribe, please click on that. You will be subscribed automatically and you'll be notified by YouTube. Okay. So with that, I will see you in the next video. Thank you.